Hi everyone. So today's agenda is about making debugging a little bit easier in Salesforce using a extension or Salesforce extension called Apex Debug. So let's quickly begin. Now let's suppose I'm in my Salesforce org and uh, this is my lead trigger. Uh, what happens here is I am simply displaying a text in the system dot debug after lead insert and th that happens after I insert a lead. Now, here I go, these are my debug logs. Now you would see there are many logs that have got generated. Let me quickly go and create a new lead. Okay, suppose now I've created this lead. I go to debug logs and I just refresh. Now I see the latest debug logs are these, right? So just for finding out this single line, this one, I need to go through all of them, right? To find out where is that debug log exactly. So I'll do control F. It's not over here. Control F. It's not over here. It's not over here. Okay, finally I found it. But this, like you see, this was a simple uh, thing that I had done was just inserting a lead on insertion of lead or uh, my debug log gets generated or it gets showed up. So there were only four logs or three logs be before I found the actual one. But let's say there are five or 10 or 15 logs that got generated. And out of those 15, you need to find out where is that particular message. Going through each 15 of them is a big task, right? You can't do that and waste so much time. So that is why we have an extension called Apex Debugger. I go to this extension. And I just add it to Chrome. Add extension. Okay. It shows remove from Chrome. That, that means it is added. Now all I need to do is just refresh my Salesforce. And now you see there is this new box that got generated with search and clear. Now what I can do with the help of this is I want to find this one, right? I'll copy this and I'll just paste and click on search. Whichever log is going to have this message, it will highlight that in green. So this way, I no more have to go through those 10, 15 logs and find out where it is. Rather, it would just highlight. I go to that log, do a control F and I find. It. So it's that easy. You don't have to open all those 10, 15 logs to find out where your message is. You just have to put your message over here. Just click on search and it will highlight which debug log is the one you're looking for. So this is about Apex Debugger. Now also one more thing, it works really well on Chrome. It did work like I showed you, but when I tried it on Edge, it was not working properly. So I don't know if it, uh, it, it is written that it is supported in Edge, but it doesn't work that well with Edge, but you can try your luck and find out if it works or not. But this is how it works in uh, Google Chrome. You can also delete the logs from your load new logs, uh, whatever you want to do, you can do it from here. So this was about it. If this uh, video helped, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.